Hello there. Now, once you've used your scoring board and trimmer to create your perfect card, it's time to create the perfect envelope to go with it. And we're going to show you how to use the envelope matrix and the online generator to get the perfect measurement for your envelope. So our first step is to find our sizes. So I'll take my card and I'll place it here in the corner. And then I move diagonally and see that it lands on this box here. You'll see two numbers. There's the number 20 in bold type and 17.9 below it in lighter type. If you look at the key at the top, you'll notice that the number in bold has an icon with a pair of scissors. That tells you it's your stock size. And stock means the size of card stock that you need to create the envelope. The figure below is an alignment figure. So that tells you where on your measuring tool to align that card stock. So going back to our original numbers, we know that our card stock needs to be 20 by 20 and the alignment is 17.9. Another way to find the dimensions of your envelope is by using our online generator. And you can find that using the QR codes in our instruction manual and on the side of the box. So this is our generator page and if we scroll down we'll find an icon saying start creating and I press that and it takes me through to a part of the page and I can switch between centimeters and inches. Today I'm going to work in centimeters and you can see here we have the box generator. That's something which we're going to cover in a separate video. And then when I come down, it gives me my envelope generator and it asks for the length and the width of the card. Now I've cut my card to quite an odd size. So the length is actually 15.5 and the width is eight. Now, once I have that, I simply press Generate Now, and that will give me both my stock size, which is the size of the card stock I need, and the alignment number. Now, bear in mind that these numbers are slightly different from our matrix. That doesn't really matter. You're still going to get a great envelope, and the generator, if anything, is a little bit more accurate. So coming back to our matrix, that's where I want to be and that tells me my stock size needs to be 20. So that's 20 by 20 and I simply take the card stock that I'm going to be using and I align it to this number on the measuring tool. That's 20 centimeters and simply slide the blade and make my cut. Then I twist this around through 90 degrees and again align that to the 20 mark, bring that down, takes away the excess and there it is, all ready to go. So now it's time to score our envelope. So underneath the 20 figure you'll see 17.9. This is my alignment mark and for that to work I need to bring my tool into envelope mode and to do that you simply slide the hub across to the left like so and make three clicks one two three and now we're at 45 degrees and you can see that clearly marked on the hub there when i bring my card stock in this is our 20 by 20 i need to align it to 17.9 on my measuring tool so that's what the alignment calculation is all about. Now, this is what we're going to be creating. These are the creases I want to make and all the finishing touches as well. Now we have this aligned, I want to take out my fold and form tool, which is placed in the side of the machine neatly here. And this is going to allow me to get wonderful creases in my envelope. So my card is now in place at the 17.9 mark. I have my scoring tool and there's a notch in your measuring tool where it says score. That's where we're going to make our very first scoring mark, like so. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna twist this 
through 90 degrees until this mark lines up where it says align. So I'm going to make another score at this point. And then I'm just going to repeat that twice more. And there we have it. So now I'm going to use our punch tools to get a really professional finish on this envelope. So you'll notice we have three punches and all of these work independently of the tool. But the reason why we have them like this is so that you can line up your envelopes, boxes, tags perfectly. And we see where the two lines intersect here. That's where I'm going to make sure that it's completely central before I make my punch. And again, I twist that around four times, rinse and repeat. And there we have it. So I want to get, I want to round off these corners and to do that I'm sliding this in place and that's why these horizontals and verticals are so essential to get accurate punching. So there's one, two, three, and four. So now we have our envelope, all we have to do is fold along the crease lines and to get really deep creases simply use the side of our fold and form like so, all the way around. And of course the reason that we created this envelope in the first place was to fit our card. And there we have it, absolutely perfect. Well, there we are. I hope you can see just how easy it is to use both the matrix and the online generator to calculate your envelope sizes. And once you've done it a couple of times, it is super easy to get that bespoke envelope for that bespoke card. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again soon.